Good morning, guys. Today we are going to solve the problem on stepped bar. Now the problem is how to determine eigenvalue and eigenvector for a stepped bar problem. Now earlier we know that uh, how to determine eigenvalue and eigenvector. I'll give you a simple example. Okay. Now we are going with a uh, FEM. How to evaluate eigenvalue eigenvector for a stepped bar as shown in figure. Now this is what the stepped bar shown in figure. Having area is given. Area A1 is given. That is 400 mm square. A2 is given 200 mm square. Length of the element is given. Okay, that is fourth elements. Now, what is the new thing required is density. Density is given. That is 780, 7850 Newton per meter cube. Inks modulus is given. <coughs> now, first try, first write down all the data given for the problem. Inks modulus is given. Now, you should keep whether in one common unit. Now, what I am using, I am keeping all the units should be in Newton per millimeter square. For that, E Inks modulus 200 GPA is there. I converted that into 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square. If you want it in meters, you can do it like this 200 into 10 power 9 Newton per meter square. Now area A1 200 mm square, A2 100 mm square, length mm 200 mm 100 mm. Now density always it should be in terms of kg per meter cube or kg per millimeter cube. Why I am using kg per millimeter cube? Because all the dimensions are in millimeter. For that purpose, I convert it to kg per millimeter cube. And if you are using in a meters, keep your density should be in kg per meter cube. Now it is in Newton per meter cube divided by 9.81, it will convert it to kg kg per meter cube, kg per meter cube or kg per millimeter cube. Now it is kg per millimeter cube because I converted uh, here 7850 Newton per meter cube is given. I had multiplied 7850 10 power 9 Newton per millimeter cube. If I divide to the 9.81, it will be in kg per millimeter cube. Okay, first initially we have to check all the values should be in common units. Then after this, next next step is first finite element model. See, write the finite element model means how many number of elements uh, you have to check it. Now, if you observe this problem, how many number of elements are there? See, this is the one element, this is another element, that means I have two elements, element number one and element number two, that means I require three nodes, one, two, three. Direction is not given, you can assume direction of X will be like this, okay? But here direction of X is not required because of, we are not applying any force here, it is in a free vibration problem. Because of this, just locate your number of nodes. Now, I had seen here, I had located number of nodes, see, node one, node two, node three, that means this is my element number one. And this will be your element number two. Area is given a1, a2. Now, if you know this, say if you want to determine eigenvalue, eigenvector problem, what is the characteristic equation for eigenvalue, eigenvector? K minus lambda m is equal to zero. This is your characteristic equation, correct? Say if you want to determine this, what is required for you? K is required, m is required. That means K is called global stiffness matrix, m is called global mass matrix. That means if you want to determine a global stiffness matrix and global mass matrix, first initially you should calculate elemental stiffness matrixes. Elemental stiffness matrixes. How to calculate elemental stiffness matrix? We know that how to calculate what is elemental stiffness matrix for a simple bar element. K1 equals to A1. That is AE by LE1 minus 1 minus 1, 1. I am doing for a first element directly written A1, E1, LE1, L1, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1. Now substitute. What is area given for first element? 400 is the area. Eng's modulus is 2 into 10 power 5. Length of the element for first element is 200 mm square. 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1. Now substitute and solve. You are going to get 10 power 5 common, 200 is there, it will cancel 2, 2, 0, 0, cancel, 4 will be remaining, that is 10 power 5, 4, minus 4, minus 4, 4, 4, minus 4, minus 4, 4, this is your first element. Hello. Now similarly, calculate mass matrix, how to calculate mass matrix, we know that already we know that what is a mass matrix for a bar element. See, we have two types of mass matrix, one is called consistent mass matrix and one more is called lumped mass matrix. See, here he has not specified anything. Because of that, I am using a consistent mass matrix. If you had specified lump, mat uh, lump mass matrix, you can use lumped mass matrix for bar element. What is lumped mass matrix for bar element? Rho A, LE by 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, if you use that, will be problem will be still simpler. But here not mentioned, he has clearly not mentioned anything. I am using a consistent mass matrix. The consistent mass matrix will give a more accurate result. Because of that, I am using consistent mass matrix. What is consistent mass matrix for bar element? ME, Rho A, LE by 6, 2, 1, 1, 2. Now I am calculating for first element, rho 1, a1, l1 by 6, 2, 1, 1, 2. Now what is the density? Density already we have calculated, 0 0.8002 into 10 power minus 6 kg per millimeter cube. Area for first element is 200, sorry, 400 or 200, 400 mm square. Okay, length of the first element is 200, divided by 6, 2, 1, 1, 2. Now if you calculate, you are going to get a value, multiply inside this. So you are going to get a value of 0 0.0106. Now 2112, if you multiply it to 0 0.0213, 0 0.0106, 0 0.0106, 0 0.0213. This is what your mass matrix for first element. Now this is for only for element number one. 
Now repeat the same procedure for element number 2. Repeat the same procedure for element number 2. Now what is element number 2? What is the area of element number 2? Area of element number 2 is 200. Length modulus is 2 into 10 power 5. Now what is the length of the element? Length of the element is 100. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. If you solve it, once again you are going to get a mathematical basis. See, first element is belongs to what? First element. What is the nodes of first element? 1, 2. Now, second element is belongs to nodes 2 and 3. 2, 3, 2, 3. Now, repeat same thing here. Density is common. Density is, there is no only single value is given. Density is common. That is 8, 0, 0, 2 into 10 power minus 6. Area is, what is the value of area? 200. Length is how much? 100. Divided by 6. 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. Now, if you calculate it, you are going to get 0 0.00534, 0 0.00267, 0 0.00267, 0 0.0534. Okay. Now, this is for your element number 2. Now, similarly, next step is go with your global stiffness matrix. Go with your global stiffness matrix. Next is, go with your global stiffness matrix and global mass matrix. Now, how to determine the global stiffness matrix and global mass matrix? We know that how to determine global stiffness matrix we have previously done. K equals to K1 plus K2. Okay. You can do it this. You are going to get this value that is 10 power 5, 4, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 8, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 4. You know how to calculate this because Y is 3 cross 3. Because I have 3 nodes, then at each node I am going to get 1 displacement. The order of the global stiffness matrix will be 3 cross 3. Similarly, global stiffness matrix, you should calculate mass matrix. You should calculate mass matrix also. What is mass matrix? M, M1, M2, M1 plus M2. Same thing, you repeat it like your what you did for your stiffness matrix. 0 0.0213, 0 0.0106, 0. 0. 0. 0 0.0106, 0 0.02664, then 0 0.00267. Repeat it. I think you are going to get a global mat global mass matrix. This is what the initial step. That means you required first K is calculated, M is calculated. Then what is your equilibrium equation? Equilibrium equation boundary condition is the next step. For that, K minus lambda M into X is equal to 0. Now substitute your K values. Already know what is global K. What is global your M? Okay, lambda M. X1, X2, X3. Or sometimes you can write here x1 x2 x3 we can write sometimes like this also that is q1 q2 and q3 sometimes we can write like this also now already we know that because in the given problem what is if you observe here given problem first node is fixed now what you want to make it if node is fixed means displacement will be equal to zero that means you don't get any oscillation at that particular point because it is a fixed end from that is the initial position where the body tend to oscillate now eliminate that particular row and column that means it is your node one is fixed eliminate first row and first column eliminate first row and first column now here i'll replace this is q1 q2 q3 i will take this as a x will be equal to x will be equal to q1 q2 q3 q okay, like this okay q1 q2 q3 if you want you can write it in caps also no problem q1 q2 q3 now if q1 is equals to zero that means q1 equals to 0, then reduced matrix becomes like this, 10 power 5. Okay, write down reduced matrix. What is the reduced matrix? 8, minus 4, minus 4, 4. Okay, minus lambda. What are the values remaining? This first row, first column, no? You can eliminate here. Okay, 0 0.02664, 0 0.00267, 0 0.00267, okay, 0 0.00534, okay, into... What is this here? Q2, Q3 is equal to 0, 0. Q2, Q3 is equal to 0. This is what you are going to get it. After the reduction. After reduction, you are going to get this. Now, after this, what you want to do it? You want to use your characteristic equation. You want to use your characteristic equation. Now, what is your characteristic equation to determine the eigenvalue and eigenvector? Say eigenvalue. To determine eigenvalue, the characteristic equation is this. 10 power 5, 8 minus 4 minus 4. That means what is the reduced matrix is there? Reduced matrix is right down. Now, in reduced matrix, leave that Q2, Q3, only remaining K minus delta M, you can take it. What is this? Determinant of K minus lambda M will be equal to 0. Determinant of K minus lambda M will be equal to 0. To do this, now, you know what is determinant of K minus lambda M, you have to do it. Now, what do you want to make it? Now, take, already written, what is K? That means, what is your reduced K? What is your reduced M? Lambda, everything is there. Now, substitute and get me the values of lambda. See, if you determine lambda, that will be called as your eigenvalues. Okay, how to determine that? Now, first, substitute your 8 into 10 power 5. This is 8 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.02664 lambda. Okay, that means first value. Minus 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00267 lambda. That is this value. Next, similarly, minus 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00267 lambda okay then 4 into 10 power 5 
minus 0 0.00534 lambda is equal to 0 is equal to 0 now how to determine calculate your determinant determinant means what calculate the value magnitude value of this matrix what is the magnitude value of matrix how to calculate it now 8 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.02664 lambda into 4 into 10 power 5 that is a into b 0 0.00534 lambda okay now this first value is over that means this into this this into this is over minus of minus of now here minus is common here minus is common if you take it minus minus it will become plus then the value becomes 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00267 lambda whole square because it is common both are common is equals to 0 is equals to 0 now if you simplify this what is the value if you multiply it, you are going to get a value like this 32 into 10 power 10 32 into 10 power 10 that means if you multiply this next minus 4.27 2 into 10 power 3 lambda that means first I am multiplying this respect to this next minus 10.56 56 656 actually 10.656 into 10 10 power 3 lambda okay next after this plus 1.4225 into 10 power minus 4 lambda okay that means I am simplifying this lambda square it will get see that I am multiplying this I am going to get this then minus of second this value now 4 into 4 that is 16 into 10 power 10 then minus it will become plus here okay minus our side plus here okay then uh, minus 7.1289 into 10 power minus 6 lambda square lambda square minus 2.136 into 10 power 3 lambda 10 power 3 lambda is equal to 0 you are going to get like this now you still if you see you can add lambda square values you can add lambda values okay you can add lambda values you can make constant value you are going to get an equation like this 1.3512 into 10 power minus 4 lambda square okay minus 17.064 into 10 power 3 lambda then plus 16 into 10 power 10 is equal to 0 this is looks like a quadratic equation how to determine your lambda 1 and lambda 2 if you have calculator directly use it or if you don't have calculator use the formula lambda 1 comma 2 that is you know that how to determine minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a using this also you can calculate it now if you use this if you use this if you use this what you are going to get it see you are going to get if you solve it you are going to get lambda 1 comma 2 will be equal to see if simplify i am going to get like this 17.064 into 10 power 3 plus or minus if I calculate inside I am going to get a 2 values 291.18 into 10 power 6 minus of 4ac if you calculate it 86.4768 into 10 power 6 divided by divided by 2a 2.702 into 10 power minus 4 if you simplify it you are going to get this if you are going to get this or this will be lambda 1 comma 2 will be equal to 17.064 into 10 power 3 plus or minus if you solve this you're going to get that value is 14.307 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 2.702 into 10 power minus 4 now here you're going to get two values one is lambda 1 equals to 10.203 into 10 power 6 116.102 into 10 power 6 so here here you can take it lowest value is the first that is lowest natural frequency start from lowest natural frequency see because if you add plus you are going to get first this value then you can going to get this value now i am taking lambda 1 as the lowest value lambda 2 is the highest value always start from lowest value see 0 then next one then next one that like that you can go it then lowest value you can go with the lowest frequency now lambda 1 lambda 2 you got it now if you want to determine sometimes they ask you to determine in terms of radians per second or frequency in terms of hertz how to determine already we know that what is lambda 1 lambda 1 equals to omega 1 square lambda 2 equals to omega 2 square or generally you know that lambda equals to omega square general expression is lambda equals to omega square now how to calculate omega 1 square root of lambda 1 square root of lambda 2 you're going to get omega 1 and omega 2 similarly if you want to calculate frequency in terms of hertz omega 1 by 2 pi that is you know that omega equals 2 pi f omega equals to 2 pi f using that concept you can calculate omega 1 by 2 pi omega 2 pi 2 pi this is how you can calculate eigen values for the given problem this is simple procedure how to calculate your eigen values i think it is already you had given an example of same type of problem in your previous uh, video here this is a detailed calculation why because here you have a power 10 power 5 10 power 3 all those things are there how to solve it this is how you can calculate your eigen value 
Then after calculating your eigenvalue, you now how to determine your eigenvectors? Now how to determine your eigenvectors? Now you can you want to see how many eigenvectors you are going to get. Because the problem after reduction, that after applying your elimination boundary condition, you have only two things, one is two rows, that means two vectors you are going to get, one is x1, one is x2. Now how to calculate this x1 and x2? Now to calculate x1 and x2, first I will take it, I will go with the first vector x1. See k minus lambda m into x1 equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation for determining your eigenvectors. Now, already we know what is k minus lambda m, x1 I will write it. Now what I will take it, see x1 equals to, I will write like this, x1 is equals to, now what is x1 left with? q2, q3, q2, q3, okay, because q1 is already 0, q1 is already 0, because already we know that because of the fixed condition. Now, see, if you want to get this, okay, if you want to get x1 or q2, q3, how to get it? Now, first, if you want to determine your eigenvector 1, what you want to make it? Replace lambda by lambda 1. What is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is equal to, you obtain lambda 1 is equal to how much? 10 points, sorry, lambda 1 is how much? Yeah, lambda 1 is 10.203 into 10 power 6. 10.203 into 10 power 6. Now, how to uh, just replace lambda by lambda 1. 8 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.026 into 10.203 into 10 power 6. Now, minus 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00267 into 10.203 into 10 power 6. Okay. Now, you can make it here x1 is equal to 0 or x1 replaced by letter you can write it that no problem okay next similarly same value minus 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00267 into 10.203 into 10 power 6 okay now 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0 0.00534 into 10.203 into 10 power 6 okay now see this is your 0 0 now See, if you simplify this, you are going to get, if you solve this value, this value, this value, this value, you are going to get one value, 528.192 in 10 power 3. This is minus 427, like this you are getting Q2. I am replaced X1 by Q2, Q3 because already I know what it says, 0. Now, in this, if you take any of the equation, I am using first equation. That means 528.192 in 10 power 3 into Q2 minus 427.Q3. I am going to get this, okay. I am equating this equation, I am going to get. Now, if I solve this, if I solve this, I am going to get a value of Q3 in terms of Q2. Q3 in terms of Q2. What is Q3 in terms of Q2 now? X1 transpose is equal to, say X1 already know, what is X1? X1 is Q2, Q3. What is X1 transpose? Write it in the parameter row. X1 transpose equals to Q2, Q3 in horizontal. Q2. What is Q3? Q3 I obtained in terms of Q2, that is 1.23 into Q2. Now, how to determine your vector? Say vector how to determine or more shape how to represent. For that, we know the equation X1 transpose into M into X1. See, what is x1 transpose? Already we know. Substitute q2 into 1.23 into q2. Then mass matrix, whatever your reduced mass matrix is there, you can take that mass matrix. q2 into 1.23 into q2. Now, after this, see, you obtain this. If you substitute the value. Now, next thing is, calculate your simplified. Simplified. See, first row. See, first this one. What is the rows? One row, two columns. Two rows, one column. If you solve these two, you are going to get what? One cross. Sorry. 2 rows 2 columns, 1 cross 2. That means if you solve this, you are going to get a value like this. That value will be, uh, how to solve it, just make it here, 0 0.02664 into Q2, correct, first one, plus 1.23 into this value, if you solve it, you are going to get 3.284 into 10 power minus 3 Q2. This is the first value. Now, similarly, next, if you solve it, 0 0.00267 Q2 plus if you solve it, you are going to 6.5682 into 10 power minus 3 Q2. Now, this will be equal to Q2, 1.23 into Q2. That will be equal to 1. That will be equal to 1. Now, this is how many rows? One row. So, now, if still, if you want to simplify, you simplify this value. You are going to get 0 0.02992 Q2. That is first value if you add it. Next value, 9.23. 8 into 10 power minus 3 into Q2. That means if you add these two, then you are going to get Q2, 1.23 into Q2 is equal to 1. Now, if you, this is one row, two columns. This is two rows, one column. If you solve it only, you are going to get a one value. That is, you are going to get 0 0.02992 Q2 square plus, if you solve, multiply these two, you are going to get 11.362 into 10 power minus 3 q2 square is equals to 1. q2 square is equals to 1. 
Now you are going if you solve it, you are going to get that means q2 square equals one. If you take q2 square is equal to one by one by forty one point. That means if you add these two, you are going to get forty one point two eight two into ten power minus three. Forty one point this into ten power minus three. If you solve it, you are going to get q2 q2 will be equal to four point nine two. If q2 equals to four point nine two, then your x1 becomes q2 because what is x1 transpose q2 into one point two three q2. If you substitute here, q2 is four point nine two. Then it will become one point two three degrees six point zero six. Now this is what your exact values. Now how to write the mode shape for this? Now they may ask you write a mode shape. Now how to write a mode shape for this? See to write a mode shape. To write a mode shape very simple. Now we know the three nodes are there. What is the three nodes? Now one, two, and three. Now I take it here horizontal line. Now this is your mean position. See this is your fixed end. This is your mean position. Okay. Now here it will be Q1 will be equal to zero. Now here we know that what is the value we got it? We got a value of what is that? 4.92. That means Q2 will be 4.92. Now make a point here. You can assume that this is your 4.92. Here 4.92 is the Q2. Q2 is equal to 4.92. Similarly, one, two, three is there. Three. What is the value three obtained? Three obtained is 6.06. See at three is 6.06. That means 6.06 you are going to get here. 6.06. Now how to write mode shape? See this will be you can join. This is how this is how body tend to oscillate. That means it will oscillate in this fashion. Exactly with respect to two, there's a displacement of 4.92. This will oscillate. Then at this particular point, it will oscillate like this. This is called your mode shape for mode shape one. See how to oscillate? This this will oscillate in the first mode like this. That means this is generally we call it as a bending mode. We call it as a bending mode. It will oscillate like this. Now after this. This is a simple one mode. How to determine one mode? Now repeat the same thing for your eigen vector two. How to determine your x vector two? Now same thing. Take your k minus lambda m into x two. X two is once again same thing. You can take it q two q three. Only thing is we are using a value different. What is that value? Use lambda two. What is lambda two? Lambda two is what is your lambda two value? One one six point one zero two into ten power six. One one six point one zero two into ten power six. Now repeat the same procedure. Substitute your value of lambda eight into ten power five. Minus 0.02664 into lambda 2. What is lambda 2? 102 into 10 power 6. Okay. Next minus 4 into 10 power 5. Okay. If you repeat it, 0.0267 into 116.102 into 10 power 6. Okay. Next. Similarly here, next value minus 4 into 10 power 5. 0.00267 into 116.102 into 10 power 6. Okay. Now similarly, you can repeat this: 4 into 10 power 5 minus 0.00534 into 116.102 into 10 power 6. Okay. Now after this, what is this? This is Q2. Q3 is equal to zero. Okay. Now same thing. You can solve it. Same thing. You can go for repeating it. See if you solve it. If you solve it, you are going to get a value like this: 2.2 into this one: 7.9. Minus seven and nine, two nineteen into nine point, no nineteen point nine eight ten power three. Q two Q three zero zero. Now if same thing, use a first equation or any any of the equation you can use it. Now I'm using a first equation itself. First equation two point two into nine zero seven into ten power six. Q two minus seven not nine point nine nine into ten power three into Q three is equal to zero. If I'm going to use this, I'm going to get Q three in terms of Q two. If I'm going to get Q3 in terms of Q2, I can write Q2 will be equal to Q2 into minus 3.22 Q2. That is what I'm going to write it. Now, how to calculate? Once again, go with your normalization technique. X2 into m into X2. You know what is X2 transpose? Already got it. M you know. Then this value you know. Now simplify this. Now simplify this. What is the value you're going to get? It. If you simplify it, you're going to get. So directly I'm writing a value of surface. I'm going to get 0.01804, 1804 Q2. Okay, that means I'm simplifying these two first into minus point one four five two into Q two into Q two minus three point two two into Q two is equal to one. I'm going to get like this. Okay, see after I'm going to get this. After I'm going to get this. Now, if you go for simply still simplifying it, I'm going to get still simplifying it. I'm going to get zero point zero zero point zero eight zero four Q two square plus point zero four six seven Phi q2 square is equal to one. If I'm going for solving q2 square, will be equal to one by 0.06479. I'm going to get it. If I solve this, q2 will be equal to. I'm going to get q2 will be equal to 3.92. Q2 will be equal to 3.92.
okay if q2 will be equal to 3.92 then we know that what is the expression you write on x2 will be q2 minus 3.22 into q2 3.92 12.62 now this is and you have to write now with respect to this you have to write a mode shape same repeated same thing now observe here same thing write a three nodes now one two and three one two and three now one we know that that is zero because it is fixed end it is zero at this particular point now how much this is 3.92 now i am going to take a diamond 3.92 with respect to this axis i am taking 3.92 now it will go up to 3.92 like this that means q to this now if you take with respect to 2 now i can take exactly with respect to scale i am going to get here minus 12.6 not because with respect to exact scale but it will be coming like this now you join this you join this okay you join this this is called your mode shape 2 generally we call it as a twisting mode we call it as a twisting mode and first one will be called as a bending mode now this is called your mode shapes this is mode shape 2 and this is called your mode shape 1 okay now the, what is your x1 and x2 x2 what we are determined that is called your eigenvector okay eigenvector eigenvector then this is your eigenvector 1 how you have gone with x1 and x2 are called your eigenvectors then your lambda 1 lambda 1 and lambda 2 this is called your frequency eigenvalues see this is what a simple procedure how to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors and mode shape for a simple bar element or stepped bar problem